Hey, it's me, Zonovan. Welcome back to the Living Skyrim 4 playthrough. How are we doing, guys? I'm doing fantastic myself. Okay, that's the courtyard. Let's get straight into it. We are looking for the servant room, because I just got the servant room key, and I'm going to guess the servant's quarters are over this side. Bingo. All right. What are we doing here? Okay, let's, uh, let's clear out downstairs first. I've got such a bad feeling all these things are going to come awake and just start swinging at me. Um, alright, let's clear this hallway first, door, I didn't open it, it actually opened before I got to it, gold, gold, not much else anymore, servant room key, love letter to Baal, no to Baal, okay, let's not read them just yet because I don't want to continue yeah there it is all right uh let's not op let's not read any of that just yet I want to check out the other places first before we uh get transported off somewhere else oh hello there yeah see some ill's note more stuff to see more context to get gold thank you Gold. All right. Remember, Samil's note is in there. Where does this go? Okay, so that just goes upstairs. How about this? This goes into the cellar. No, please don't tell me. Okay, good. I can't go in there, right? Yeah, I didn't think so. All right, so that's where somebody somebody died down there. I can't remember who it was in the note. I think it was like the the person who came at Marcus with the meat cleaver or something. I'm pretty sure. All right, let's read some Mill's note. Uh, I saw it. I saw what my lord was talking about. The source of that crawling sound. There was a red witch crawling. Oh, gee, that would that would just send your mind to see something like that. There was a red witch crawling across the ceiling. It sent shivers down my spine when I saw her face. I think she spotted me. She's in front of my door. And it's only a matter of time before the night falls. But I'm sure she'll be gone by the morning. And then I'll tell Bartholo, Bartholo about her. Well, that didn't happen, did it, Samil? Oh, jeepers, that's uh, terrible. I could only imagine the absolute terror you were in. That would have been... I don't know. To experience something like that would just be something else. We're still not going to do that yet. We'll go upstairs first. Uh, but note to Baal, love letter to Baal. We'll go note to Baal first. Baal, please stop telling your strange stories to the young master. I'm not saying this because you are an alien, but in the education of a noble, there is simply no place for knowledge about black magic and long since buried myths. I do not want you to tell him such things in the future, even if he asks. I just want the best for the boy. Okay, and love letter to Bal. Dear Bal, I'm terrified of the young master. Is there something wrong with me that I feel this way? Those dark eyes of his, they make me uneasy as if I'm staring into the depths of oblivion. I can't stop trembling. Would you please, would you please stop this trembling with your strong arms again tonight, Patricia? Okay, so Bal is, uh... Yeah, okay. So he's... I'm going to say, based on my knowledge so far about what Baal has always turned out to be, it's always just what I would what I would describe as, like, basically more like Baal possessing someone. Um, that's always what they've turned out to be. The thing's named Baal, so I'd assume that's what it is. Uh, okay, and we can't get through there, but that looks... Seems like there might be another another totem statue thing in there. Alright, okay, that's everything explored. Now we can go to the next place. Is it in here? No. It's down this way. Over here. 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 No, wrong. There's this way. Here. Here. And here. Okay, let's drop a save. I'm going to just start deleting some saves soon. Blood Curse of Corruption. Let's go. Take me to this place again. This terrible place to be. Oh, I love it. Okay. Let's just, uh, get up the old fireballs again. 
Hello there, Sacrifice. Nice to meet you. It's Traylon. Hello there, Sacrifice. Nice to meet you. It's Traylon. Hello there, Sacrifices. Nice to see you. It's Draylon. Alright. Ooh. Slight, slight, uh... Ooh, there's Patricia. Ooh. Looks like Baal got a little bit too strong with his arms there. Um... Alright. Yeah, I had a little... I had a little frame rate drop there, it seemed. Which is good. To me, That that's better than it crashing. And it has scared me, actually, so I'm gonna save again there. I'm gonna start saving pretty frequently after that frame rate drop. The last thing I want... Sorry, Fandle. Sorry, sorry. The last thing I want is a crash. And to have to do a whole bunch all over again. Okay. Hello there. Did you try to uh, heal yourself real quick there? What are you? Another blood curse lava. Or larvae. Hello there. Gotcha. Right, magic of poison. What's with all these poisons and stuff, eh? Oh, hello. You did scare me. I'll give you that. Well, you didn't scare me. I just wasn't expecting expecting it. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but I guess I'll take it. <laughs> I pressed R twice. I went to cancel my uh, cancel my cast. Alright, so we're on the upper levels now. Don't feel like falling down there. Ooh. Ooh. True directional movement. Ooh. Oh gosh, please just let me No, no, don't fall between the gap. How lucky. It's weird because I can feel myself like falling in between these little gaps. Vandal, uh you're just gonna have to try your best. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna have to start keeping an eye out on the walls for those things. Hello. Is Fandle already ahead? Where's Fandle? Fandle is ahead. Oh, how'd you get so far ahead, Fandle? What is that? Where are you, Fandle? <laughs> Where are you, buddy? That's gonna have something pop out of it, right? No? Okay. Fandle? Oh, gosh. Well, I already know that thing is gonna come out and poke me. And I do not want to go all the way to the bottom and do this again. So we're going to save right there. Well, I should be able to make it just right across, right? Is there any incentive to go over there? I don't think so. Oh! No. No. I am not climbing those steps again. <laughs> Alright. Um. Got it. Nice. Uh, that is what I was supposed to do, right? Yeah, we're gonna have to just keep going up, eh? I don't know where you are, Fandle, but I heard you fighting the good fight, and that's all that matters. Are these, like, parallel? You just wait right there. Gotcha. Alright. Um. So this is all going the same way, right? Yeah, it all goes the same way. Okay, and this this uh this quest this quest mod guy oh jeepers judge of corruption. This quest mod guy absolutely no, no you're not gonna one shot me like that. Absolutely loves having multiple ways to go to different places. Absolutely loves it. Um, dang it. All right, I didn't get to. He's already aggroed on me, so I don't get to save it. Can't swing through that, okay? We'll make a deal. Make this a fair fight. You can't swing through that, alright? 
I get to throw these fireballs at you, but you can't do a ground pound thing through that. Alright? That's fair, right? I think that's pretty fair. I should have done a weakness on you for sure. You'd be dead by now if I did. Gotcha. Nice. I was about to say, no way I missed out on all that nice loot. Burnt corpse. That's a weapon? Deals 24 fire damage targets on fire take extra day. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's a weapon? I mean, it's the best It's the best weapon I'll have, 26 damage. I want to see what that looks like. I want to see what that looks like. Uh, scroll of candlelight. Uh, go back to all. Potion of plentiful stamina. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, that's fine. All right, let's uh, let's see what this weapon looks like. Burnt corpse. Let's whip out this bad boy. <laughs> that's what it. Oh, that's what he was holding. A burnt corpse. Right. <laughs> well, that is certainly interesting to be. <laughs> I'm quite literally just throwing around a body. Alright, that is certainly interesting. Cool enchantment nonetheless. What does that look like on my back? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna unequip that. <laughs> I'm gonna unequip that. No, because I don't like it, just because it does look a little weird. Alright. Okay, and we already made it to this next one. Okay, we did that pretty quick. A sp speed run that. Sped run. Speed run. Um, we'll save here again. Just being careful between each loading screen. Julius room key. So Julius, that's the kid, right? And I think it was, was it Patricia that was down there and left the note? It was Patricia that uh, said the kid was looking rather, um, said, said looking into his eyes was like looking into oblivion itself or something like that, right? Pretty sure. All right. Already been through all here, right? Right, right. Already went downstairs. Okay. So we've already, this whole wing's already done, right? Can't go through that door. Oh, there we go. Hello there. That's a, these are toys, this is a, this kid's got some pretty cool looking toys. Toys like this would be so cool as a kid. Oh, and there's the crash. That's why I kept saving. That's why I kept saving. That was a hard crash. All right, let's load it up again. Shouldn't take too long. Yeah, that's exactly why I kept saving. It's It just started seeming like... Uh, yeah, it just started seeming like that was becoming more and more unstable being in there. Just in that actual quest mod itself. All those frame rate drops and all that. Yeah, just uh, kept getting... Yeah, more and more laggy. More and more frame drops started really... Started really worrying me. And by the way, whenever I don't cut this out, I just take the opportunity to just chat a bit more. Um... But if you do want to skip past these, I do intentionally, whenever we have a crash or anything like that, just so you all know why I'm not cutting it out, I do intentionally just chat in these sections where nothing's going on. But I do extend the runtime of the video by like a minute or two, basically. That's that's usually my idea behind it. I'm sorry I haven't actually commuted, communicated that across yet. But yeah, I just prefer like, if I don't have to cut, unless it's like a huge setback, I try not to. But yeah, see, like that, that was, I don't know, 30, 40 seconds worth of time. So I'll go for an extra minute or two. All right, back in we go. Lucky we saved there before it crashed. That could have been, that could have been rather annoying. All right, and we had to go upstairs. That's right. Hopefully it doesn't crash once we enter his room again. That would be upsetting, and I don't know how we'd get past that because we actually can't leave this place until... We finish all this. No, that can't go through there. I think it's this way. And it's... Huh? Hmm? Huh? What? There it is. How did I miss that? Alright. Uh, we'll leave that. Okay, this isn't going to be good. Seems like every time I, I look at that boat. Okay, I'm just going to stay away from that side of the room. I will cut this time though, because that's a bit ridiculous. All right, entering Julius's room for the third time, hopefully is the charm. I'm going to avoid that 
boat over there because it seems like Does someone live among the dead? Julia comes now. oh my goodness you are terrible level 666 how are you supposed to you're not supposed to be out of killer are you there's no way you're not supposed to be out of killer there's no way Right. Oh my goodness, what the heck? That's Patricia? Oh. Oh, that is horrifying. I don't even know what to do to these things. I don't even know what to do. I do not even know what to do. I don't even know what to do. Soon you will know the cold of death. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, creepy lady. Just let me get my magicka back. Am I supposed to be able to kill these things? Oh, oh, you came through the door. You weren't supposed to do that. <laughs> Go away. Let me get my magicka back. Am I supposed to be able to kill this? I am so confused. She keeps taking all my magicka. Is this something I'm supposed? Oh, stop taking all my stop taking all my stuff. I mean, we're just under a third of the way there, so I guess it's doable. But holy dooly! Keep going, Fandle. I believe in you, buddy. All right. Where's uh? Where's the other one? Are you over here? I don't even know. I'm going to see what there is to find in this room before they come back. Because <laughs> I don't know, maybe I can maybe I can do something in this room that makes them go away. I'm not even sure, but that is that is crazy. Thorm of the Dove. Yes, please. Gold. Key. Marcus's journal. Okay. There was stuff to find. Um, all right. How long is this? Alright. Holy dooly. Whoo, that's a big one. Okay. That's fine though, because, I mean, to be honest, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with them, so might as well read this. <laughs> and I think we're just going to be hearing Patricia uh, crying in the background while I read this. Um, my wife Julia has grown cold to me. She won't even look at me in the eye, let alone talk to me. Uh, has she found out about my infidelity? No, she couldn't have. Julia and Julius disappeared. Servants searched all around the mansion, but they haven't found them yet. They found Julius in the forest. He was so scared he couldn't even speak. Julia is still missing. A vigilant of Stendhal visited the mansion. His name was Jacob. Uh, he brought my wife's ring with him. According to him, Julia had been found floating in Lake Ullanalta to the north. A fisher found her. Strangely, her body was burned. The water around it boiling and large amounts of dead fish and birds floated around it. Jacob said her body was still burning from the inside. What depraved sorcerer could have done this to her? He said he put out the flames inside her body and buried her deeply. He found a ring with my... He found a ring with my wife's and my name among her ashes and then came all the way from Skyrim to bring it to me. Strangely enough, I feel relieved. The news of her death saddened me, but I shed no tears for her. Did the love I swore for her before Myra fade uh, so completely? I wonder why, but now I'm relieved. Julius hasn't spoken, hasn't spoken since the day they found him in the forest. Finding out about his mother's death will only sadden him even more. I won't tell him about Julia's, Julia's death. Uh, the maid, Heather, fell down the stairs and broke her neck. Her hometown was in Valenwood. Sylvanar, I think uh, 10 gold coins should be enough to send her body there. She was always a clumsy girl, but never to this extent. Julius didn't react, even though he saw her death. I'm ashamed to admit I'm terribly afraid for him. He's all I have left. 
Lately, I keep hearing something crawling along the hallways in the middle of the night. I gathered my courage and tried to find out the source of that sound, but I couldn't find anything. Am I just hearing things? If so, I'm tired of it. And that thing that with Heather, I need a long break. And that thing with Heather, I need a long break. I was offered a few positions in the Imperial City, but I'll turn them all down. I hired a new butler today, a, a wild elf. I think his name is but all of them. Hmm. That was your mistake, buddy. A wild elf, I think his name is Baal. Julius is unusually fond of him. I hope he'll be able to take good care of my son. Uh, the other butler, Clifford, drowned in the courtyard pond. The cause of death was likely an illness of the heart. Healers told me some complicated name of the illness, but it tells me but it tells me nothing. Clifford served the Bruin family since I was a child. He was almost like a, fi like a family to me. It saddened me to the bottom of my heart to see him gone, and still the tears won't come, just as they didn't when my wife died. I wonder if I am just a heartless man. Julius was watching that uh, pond in the courtyard. I wonder if he is grieving Clifford's death. I can't read any emotion from his empty eyes. The sound of something crawling down the hallways is getting louder. This shouldn't be happening. It's Is something wrong with my mind? The Khajiit gardener, Mazak, died. Okay, I was going to say, is that, the, is that our carriage driver? I don't think it is. Uh, the Khajiit gardener, Mazak, died. He fell from the tree and slit his throat on his own gardening shears. Holy. Oh. The accident happened right in front of me, right after I greeted him. Right after I greeted him in the morning. This is completely insane. I'm not out of my mind. There's something in the mansion. A source of that, a source of that crawling sound. Something horrible is crawling around the house. I'm having nightmares every... Night in a room full of rust and blood, I see Julius, his eyes blazing like fire. Julius stands beside him, takes my hand and places a single red stone in it. The stone burns in my hand, turning my arms to, into ash. I scream in pain, but Julia just laughs soundlessly. And Julius only looks at me, the nightmare always ends there, but it's getting clearer and clearer every day. It's just a stupid dream, and yet it frightens me. What am I supposed to do? Oh, okay. Well, I know what we're supposed to do now. We've got to try our best to kill these things i don't know how but we're gonna have to give it a crack good that they're all together though stop taking all of my magicka holy dooly these things are ridiculous okay let's back up fane will stay up please stay up for as long as you can i need my magicka to regenerate are they- are we supposed to win this? Or are we supposed to just- am I supposed to get this key and then just run? And they're just gonna follow us around the whole time. I'll tell you what- I'll, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna be upset if I put a whole bunch of time into this. I'm gonna be upset if I put a bunch of time into this. And then they just- Oh, stop taking all my magicka! I'm gonna be upset if I put a lot of time into this, trying to do this. And they just like automatically heal or something. You know what you need? You need a weakness to fire. You need a weakness to fire. I need my spells to be doing more to you. Hey, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, come here. Oh, Patricia, you are just, you are just, you are just... Oh, jeepers, you are, you are something else to look at. Yeah, go on, go get Fandal. No, 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 stop that. Fandle, get in there. In there, in there, in there, in there. You've got no health. Are you healing? Okay, well, she's at half health now. Oh, my goodness. Yep. Close, close the door. No, no, no. What? It? I can't see. Oh, Patricia, go away. You are so disgusting to look at. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Ugh. Where's... Where's Julia? Okay, Julia's come. Oh, there she is. Hello, Julia. You wasted no time. Okay, good. I thought you- I thought that was your lifeless body on the stairs, Fandle. Fandle, Fandle, just- just chill out. Get some health back, please. Just get some health back. You'd no use to me if you go down straight away. Alright. Patricia. I hate to look at you. I'm just gonna be honest. 
Go, go away. Go away. No, no. I'll open the door for you. I'll open the door for you. I'm trying to open the door for you. I'm trying to open the door for you. Just go back through it. Go back through it. Go back through the door. No. No. Go back through the door. <laughs> I tried to be nice to you. Uh-huh. Oh, dead end. Ah, <laughs> oh, Patricia, go away. Uh, uh. How is my altar? Oh, I keep casting stone flesh. That's right. Ugh. Ugh. Jesus, this is so hard to navigate. No, 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 you're not supposed to be able to come this way. Right, remember? Remember? Alright, you're almost dead there. No, you're not supposed to come this way. Okay, she's almost gone. Once she's gone, she's like the big, she's like the big horse. Once she's gone, Patricia will be pretty easy. We just gotta get her. Alright. No. 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 You're almost done. Stop taking all my stats away. Where'd you go? There you are. Alright. I've almost got you, Julia. I tell you what, if I do all this and you just go straight back to 100 and I was supposed to just get that key and run to another room, I'm going to be... I'm going to be feeling some kind of way about it, Julia. I'll be honest with you. Julia. I'm back. I'm back here. Julia. Let my magic regenerate. Or are you running away now? Did I get you? No? Ah, Patricia, you are the worst thing to look at in the world. Ah. Where are you? Stop it. Stop it. Stop taking away my vision. I just want to kill. Ah. Oh. Julia is so close to dying. Go away, Patricia. You are so close. You are so close. Oh, Patricia, get out of the way. Oh, Julia is so close. Let's go down this way. I've almost got you. Holy dooly. After all that. <sighs> Go away, Patricia. I am... I am done with this. <laughs> After all that, you've got a, a ridiculously... a ridiculous poison. I mean, it's not ridiculous. I'm just never going to use it. Okay, well, that's going to have to do it for today's episode, guys. If you guys are enjoying this playthrough, please consider liking. Please consider subscribing. But most of all, please have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.